Hi everyone, so today I wanted to show you the preparation that I'm going to do for an animal portrait. And I've been experimenting recently with using manuscript paper and painting on top of it. So I thought I'd show you how I stretch it down because it's too low quality to actually paint directly onto. So I've taken an ordinary piece of watercolour paper. This is just the SAA practice paper and it's in my stretching frame which has got it anchored down on all four sides. And it's still damp at the moment because what I want to do is I want to add some PVA glue to the surface so that I can stick the manuscript paper down. And then when the manuscript paper is dry, then I can add watercolour ground and other textures over the top so that I can experiment and put my portrait on. And my actual portrait is going to be a tiger. So I have PVA glue, ordinary craft glue, white glue, that's mixed 50-50 with some water. And I'm just using a relatively cheap nylon brush, but I'm going to put lots of PVA down on the surface. So I'm going to cover it as quickly as I can. It can be difficult to see sometimes because uh, you're not sure where you're painting on top of, and obviously you're painting white glue on a white surface. So it can be tricky, but if you get it into the light, you should be able to see where the shine is. And because the paper is already damp, it's accepting the glue a little bit quicker than it would do if the paper was dry. So I'm putting glue all over. I don't want it to puddle really. I want it to be a nice thin coat. Putting it all over, missed a bit there. Making sure that it's covered all the way over. Working all the way down the page. I just need a little bit more down here. Putting it backwards and forwards so I know it's a really nice thin layer. Missed a bit down there as well. And that'll do for the time being. Now I've got a piece of manuscript paper here which was um, part of a whole stack of paper that was left to my husband by his grandmother. So I've been trying to put it to good use rather than it sitting in a cupboard, although he does still play the piano, but um, he doesn't use it all the time. So I thought, what better way to do it a bit of justice than to use it as a painting surface. So it's going down on top of the glue. Because it's a very absorbent paper, and because I have covered it in PVA, it's going down really nicely. It's easy to see if you've missed a bit of glue, because the paper starts to lift. So you can pop it down, and then what you're going to do to make sure that it sticks down really, really well is that you're going to put a layer of PVA all over the top of it as well. This also means that it's a really interesting surface to paint on top of because I like to work in watercolour paints and PVA ever so slightly repels watercolour. So it's going to be a really interesting surface. Now, what I'm actually going to do, the plans that I have for this at the moment, is that after I've stuck this down and dried it with a hairdryer, I'm going to add some watercolour ground over the top of it. And I'll explain more about watercolour ground in the next little video. But there we go, the PVA is going down. Now the manuscript paper is actually starting to buckle. But don't worry, one of the reasons that I am stretching it is so that hopefully all of those little lines and wrinkles will disappear by the time it's completely dry. And because the watercolour paper underneath is a little bit damp, it helps to just pull the fibres even more taut than they would be if you stuck it to an ordinary piece of dry watercolour paper. So there we go, the PVA is going on. Again, I'm being really careful to not make the watercolour, um, sorry, the PVA glue puddle and I'm working it right into the surface. It's quite hard work to do. You really have to push the glue into the surface. And for those of you that don't like getting your hands dirty, you're gonna cringe in a minute because I'm gonna start sticking my fingers into it. But there you go, you can see it's got a nice E coat all over the top. And then just where I think it needs a bit of help, I'm gonna use my fingers just to push it down and I'm working my way through it. If you do like getting your hands grubby, then this is just the perfect technique. Pushing all the little bits down where I can, moving the PVA so that it's a nice even consistency and then hopefully when it dries, it's going to be nice and taut. 
it's quite tricky to stretch a piece of paper this size. It's not foolproof, but if you get lumps and bumps in it, the trick is to not worry about them and to take them in your stride a little bit and then hopefully they become part of the personality of the painting. So there we go, it's really starting to soak in now as you can probably see. Making sure all those edges are down tight. Moving, there we go, moving all those bubbles out because sometimes you do get a few. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and take this away, dry it with a hairdryer and then I'm going to show you what I do with the watercolour ground next.